Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform your 2D designs into 3D product shots in seconds. So this place where you can download your free Photoshop action scripts is called psdcovers.com and they do have a premium and a free version and if you just scroll down over here you can preview their entire catalog to know which are the free versions and the premium versions okay so now we're just going to install the free version so let's just click over here where it says download free then you would have to select this drop down and select your photoshop version so how do you know what is your photoshop version just go over to your photoshop then go over to help and then click on about photoshop so here it will give you the information you need i'm on adobe photoshop cs6 so in this demo let's just go ahead and download cx6 for my case but remember to select your photoshop version okay so once I've selected it, it would have downloaded into the system automatically. So you want to open it and install it into your extension manager. So just go ahead and click accept, install, install and click OK. All right. So now it's at your extension manager and of course you can remove it anytime. No problem. So you want to actually uh, close Photoshop and open it again. Okay, I've closed it. Now let's open it again. Okay, then what would happen is when you go over to Window, Extensions, you would see PSD Covers over here. So let's go ahead and click it. And there you go. All these action scripts are loaded into your Photoshop now. So you can take your time and just browse through it. There's also uh, so there's this pop-up here that comes out where it tells you that you have access to over 100 free actions and you can actually subscribe for the premium version as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and close it and we'll just stick with the free version for this demonstration. So there's page 1, 2, 3 and 4 that you can browse through. So let's just do a, a quick demo right now. I'm going to do a box one with you. Okay, so this is what it would look like. So all you need to do is just click on step one. And what step one is doing is actually generating the canvas for your 2D design. So this is the box side panel, which is for this side. And this is the front box panel, which is over here. Okay, so just take note of that. So I'm just going to do a very quick design with you on the fly. So what I normally start off with is I'll just clear off all these titles. So I'm going to delete all this. All right. And let's just bring in the background. We're just designing this on the fly. Okay, guys, just want to show you a very quick demo and not take too much of your time as well. Okay, something like that for now. Anyway, okay, we're just doing this on the fly. So once you've done your 2D design, very simple, just one click, step two. Okay, so what this does is now the entire action script is loading and it's just converting it into a 3D design for you. Ta-da! Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so if you want to like fix some things or change your design, you can always just go back to your original 2D canvas and then just hit step two again. All right, if you need to make any changes. So this is the final 3D output. Okay, as promised, then you can also go over to image and check out your image size. Something I want to highlight to you uh, for this particular 3D output. The resolution is 300 pixels, which is very big. Normally 300 resolution is meant for printing purposes. But if you want to just use it for your web page or anything on screen, you know, you upload it to your social media or your ads or whatever, just bring it down to 72, okay? So that the file size is not so big when you save it, all right? 
So this is smaller now. And you can actually see, so when you zoom in, this is at 100%, it's still very big. So I will go back to image size again. I'm just gonna scale it down. I mean, normally at about 600 is good enough for me. Okay, so this is 100%, all right? So if you want to remove the background, sometimes maybe you want it to be transparent, just select the background over here, which is this part, then you can actually just delete it. So when you delete it, you've got these checkers that shows up at the back, so this means it's transparent. And now you can actually just save it as PNG. So let's just save this for web. And you want to select PNG 24. So PNG 24, it will give you the transparency option. Okay, so let's just Okay, so there we go. So you can see it's actually transparent. All right, so I'm just gonna do one more quick one with you, uh, which is the screen. Okay, so let's just close these first. Okay, so again, hit step one. Step one is where it would generate the canvas for you, for your 2D designs. Then over here, this is for the screen. So you can actually design something or you could even just screenshot something. Let's just screenshot this one, okay, in this example. So the screenshot tool I use is called Jing, which is J-I-N-G. So it's also a free tool that you can download. Okay, then let's just paste this. And okay. So once you're happy with your 2D design, again, just move over to step two. And then the PSD covers actually script will actually do the magic for you in the background to convert this into a 3D design. Okay. Only take a couple of seconds. There we go. And then when you zoom out. All right. So this is the treaty of it. Pretty awesome, right? So again, you can clean up these um, text that you don't really need. And then again, just check your image size. Okay. 300 is too big. I always bring it down to 72 for screen. Okay, again, 300 is, only, is for print, 72 is for screen. Okay, and then if you're happy with it, you can also tidy up this, the, the canvas area. Okay, if you're happy with it, let's just go ahead and save for web. Okay, so this would actually optimize the image for web. Again, at PNG24, transparency, save. Let's do Okay. There we go. Okay. Pretty, right? So pretty. I love this stuff. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to get your free action scripts at psdcovers.com. I'm Katie once again, and I'll talk to you soon.